All right. Oh, I should have been prepared for this. Envy Touch that I used to have on Verizon, but it went from costing me about mm, 75 a month to all of a sudden it started costing me 130 a month. They told me that it would cost a hundred. $110 for my little sister on the plan, but then it cost $130 plus, you know, all the fees that they tacked on. And it was $120 for a while. Then they went up to $130 because they felt like it. Took my little sister off the plan because I couldn't afford it anymore. And they said, okay, with all your uh, taxes and fees, it'll be about $75 a month. Got my first bill and it was $100. I hadn't gone over anything, I hadn't gone over any minutes or anything, and the hundred dollars they said, oh, sorry, yeah, taxes, fees, iPhone, hold on, let me unlock it, iPhone, apps and everything, AT&T network, this is 75 with taxes and fees, $75, I have a lot more on here than I do on my Envy Touch Plus. Uh, right now, I'm on E, which is using my own internet, like you used to, like you use internet on this thing. That's my data package. But if I have Wi-Fi, I can connect to Wi-Fi, and then I don't get charged for data package. But you can't do that on your Envy Touch. So I promise you, getting an iPhone is worth it because you spend a lot less money on an iPhone than you do on an Envy Touch, at least in my area. Because in my area, Verizon knows that everybody has it so they can charge everybody more. Eh. But yeah, get an iPhone. It's a lot better, I promise.